to the Vicky Gotti Show. Yes, we're back with Naomi, the legendary Naomi Couture, mother NYC. Naomi, I ended the, the last show with asking about Shanira. How did you feel about when, no Shay, at one point she was beating you like back to back to back. How did you feel about that? Well, it didn't really bother me, like to the point where I was like, oh, next time ball, I want to come out, I want to... I want Shadira because I've never been like that. You know, I've never been that type of person. But I don't know. It's nothing like that. But I guess after I beat her, it was like Shay. Because when she beat me, it was okay. Mm -hmm. You see, I would always hug her and get, you know, show love. But then when I would beat her, it would be like very like. Mm. How did you feel it on me that that year when the prodigy booed you? Like, how did you feel like they, they take it to the next level? How did you feel about that when they booed you? I paid that. It meant nothing to me. Cause it was like, like, how, like, how dare anybody just boo me because I won? Right. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at the judges. Right. Naomi, another question. I'll be now. How did you get the what my hair video? How did you get that video? They called me. They um, they was actually looking for my number, and they, I know a photographer out here named Tweety or Tweety. She goes by Tweety. And um, she called me, and she basically told me, you know that. They called me and I went to LA mm -hmm. and I saw They paid for you to get to LA and how did you? Of course, that's how okay. it happened. When okay. you get booked for games, they paid for everything. So, how do you feel about it for like weeks and a half being people to let people in charge? So, I'm going to go in there and take the pictures. I'm going to take the pictures. How did that make you feel? I love it. Like, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you notice when I'm around and I go out and about, I always be nice to everybody. Like, I love it. They love me, so why not love them? You know? They they make me lay on me, you know? If it wasn't for them, I'll just be, you know, a booker. Mm -hmm. You said you want to edit the that you want to play me. Of course. That's correct. Now, what else do you want to do? Because a lot of people say, let me get hard, or you got bad shit, bad. You, you don't have nobody. You've been working in the game. You want so much money. You don't have this. You don't... How do you feel about people attack you all that? Like, honestly, at first, it used to bother me. Because it used to be like, damn, like, why they got to be so harsh about certain things? And, you know, they always talk. Mm -hmm. But then after it, I'm like, please. Like, I've been taking hormones, and I've let my the hormones work my body first. I don't want to rush into something, and then I don't like it, or 10 years later, it's not looking right, my body starts, you know, going through something. Like, when I do have, um, get time and to get some surgery, I want to get, like, my, my vagina first, mm -hmm. and then I might, you know, get some work done to my face, like FFS. Mm -hmm. People that don't know that, it's called facial, facial feminization surgery. You can look it up. It's these little surgeons that they see a face and then, you know, they make you look more current. It's not giving you, like, no surge. Right now. Now, you know me. A lot of people want to know, who are your favorite fem fem queen performers? Um, always has been Alora number one, of course, and mm -hmm. Yolanda. Like, those are my two, 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 two. But two, wait, you and Yolanda just got into, I mean, not just got We got into, past that. Okay, right. But I want to yeah. talk about people who don't know. What happened that night? Both See, me and Yolanda, we just started talking on the phone and kicking and stuff like that. And one day, I don't know what she was going through, but she started saying just some negative things to me. And I was like, wow, how can you say these things to me after, like, we've been, you know, kicking on the phone? Like, why would you say these negative things what to me? What did she say about you? She was basically saying that when I did the Willow Smith video, that that was nothing to me. It wasn't even exposure. I said, wow. I'm yeah, like, she said yeah, I got it. Because, you know, me, I was cool on the phone. I'm like, okay, yes, Yolanda. Mm -hmm. And then after that, that Tuesday, that's when I stormed her. And on Tuesday, and she texted me right after, and she was like, that I'm going to die like Alora. And I felt offended because I'm like, wow. Right. Alora's somebody that's been her friend longer than I've even known about Alora. And for her to say something like that, it was kind of like, you know. Are you friends now? Yeah, she called me and she apologized. And she explained, you know, when certain people are in the bone scene for a long time, they go through so much. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they, that makes their mentality just automatically have like a guard and I guess that's what Yolanda was going through. She felt like I was going to be one of those people that was going to try her. Okay. What's the share with you and Deja? Because it's always something about she came on my show and said she, you should not be legendary. She let you say that. It's a lot of things she said about you but what's, what, what's the share with you on? Do you live for uh, I mean not live for I always live for Deja. The thing is that I live for every fan point. There's not one fan point that I could sit here and say well, yeah, I'm going to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I live for all of them. Like, it's like, damn, I've, I've, I've watched y'all grow up. You know, I've grown up watching y'all both. Right. And some of these girls, they be fierce. Like, if I went up over them, they feel like because they've been legendary for so long and they've been doing this too, for 
for so long and they don't got all this work and they this and that that they shouldn't be losing to somebody like me. And I feel like that shade when talent when it comes to the floor, talent speaks for itself. You know, right. I feel like it should always be fair. Where are the Mercedes? Oh, I live in Mercedes. That's okay. my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. Yeah. Now, oh, I want to thank Kelly Couture. You know, she got me yes, this big interview. I know. You was lucky. I, I, I keep the way on me. Well, I was lucky. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> so, like, on me, the new ones come, because I don't want to go into deep, into deep. I can go on and on with you, on and you know that. What advice would you give to the new ones coming up? I look up to you, and like, believe, like, you know, I love her. I want to be in videos like her. I want to do this. What advice would you say to them? I feel like everybody should, you know, just go for what they feel, like, for their dreams. They should always stick to it. And if you commit it and you have the time, it'll come through. But it takes, you know, it takes time. You can't just get it overnight. And don't get involved in a scene to where, like, you want to do drugs and, you know, and just be involved in a scene and stop you do your drugs, like? That's not cool. Hopefully, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me Ten years from now, what do you see? Um, well, or hopefully, five, five, ten, five, ten. in the next few years, I, I, well, this year coming up, I'm going to have a lot of things coming up, so okay. the year's going to be looking very, very good. I want to congratulate yes. you on your trip to China, and Japan, Hong Kong, Hong Kong I mean, you know, all that. Thank you. I'm going to congratulate you on all that. Now, you had an audition tonight. Tell us about that. Tell the oh, people about what happened in that situation. I had an audition for Madonna. Okay. <laughs> we had an audition for Madonna for Super Bowl, and they basically was looking for a vulgar, and they taught, uh old way and new way mm-hmm. scene. <laughs> it really was because you know when you bow when you walk from the performance you're more into being kind mm-hmm. like you're not into more like the shapes and the arms that was a lot and I didn't make the arms this year really? but you're sad like, how you feel when you don't make like you know do you this was actually my first real audition really? because even okay. though I auditioned before for um for Fergie we didn't get to perform because it was raining that day okay and that, and that audition was like, it was only like six of us, and we all made it. It wasn't really like, today was a really big, big audition. I was kind of nervous, too. Um, who, who your dream person you want to like perform with and be on like tour with? Um, I would love to work with Lady Gaga. I would love to work with Beyonce. I would definitely love to work with Beyonce. Um, Who's your favorite butch queen performer in the book? Favorite butch queen performer? Let me ask you that guy. I asked you about Femme Queen. Let me ask you about Femme Queen. Prince, they show well, but, like from the legendary girl, my favorite girls. is like Prince, Ricky. Mm-hmm. Um, I live for my sister, Ro- um, Foxy. Okay. Of course, I already said Rocky. Or, well, I didn't say Rocky, but oh, you said which one? Yeah, said which one? Foxy, legendary. Okay. Now, it's that big whoop on Facebook. I think with the which one with it, the legend of the what is it? The um. Oh, Massive the hole. hole. You was put, was you okay? What happened with that? No, I left that. Now, I you left, left that group. Why did you? Yeah, because first of all, in that group, who should not be in that group? That man. I don't care about that. They don't care about them. Yeah. It's, okay. No, not that. I don't care about them. I don't okay. care about like having to say who's master the vogue and this and that. What happened? What, what happened with that? Because there was a lot of controversy about that. I was. I don't know. I got in the group, and Johnny's always seems to always had. Well, back in the day, like a couple of years ago, always have something negative to say about me. Like she would even post stuff on walking. And I would feel like, wow, like when you take your time out to write all this stuff, like you must feel something personal. Mm-hmm. And when I got into the group, okay, you get invited into a group and it's called Master Bo, and you're sitting here like criticizing, like why? And it's not like they, you just see people criticizing others mm-hmm. in that way, and she's sitting here criticizing me in a negative way. So instead of me arguing and saying anything back, because to see that and not respond, of course, you'd be like, just pay it, just pay it. But sometimes certain things get to you. And you right. feel like you want to respond. I just left the group. It wasn't that serious to me. Mm-hmm. It's just the group. And the whole mass of the vote thing is just a whole nother, like, title, basically, that they try to put out there. That I don't but I mean, who do you don't see? Last question. Who do you don't see for legendary things? I'll break it. Give me two bitches. Give me three. Honestly. I don't know. You know? Three. But you don't say honestly. That work for a $20,000 category. $20,000. So you don't see three bitches. The first thing that comes to your mind. Real quick. Real quick. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, well, last family family, anything you want to let leave? Well, I enjoyed you. I had a blast. You said. I had a blast. 
Um, so, what's next? Um, well, next year I'm going to be busy, so I'm probably not going to be in the USA that much. Yeah, I know. That's I, like, I like to just keep people posted, you know, when things are happening. I don't like to just brag and be like, oh, I'm going to anywhere. But, but thank you so much. Breaking news. Amaya, Amaya is not a Chanel anymore. Why do you have to end it with all that? I had to. It was only right. Because then you got it, y'all. <laughs>